call this meeting of the Lyle County Fiscal Court to order on this 18th day of this December 2018 at 5 p.m. Uh, I want to call on uh, Bess Ralph, our county clerk, to come forward and lead us in a prayer and a pledge to the flag. Okay, please. Uh, Bess Ralph, 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 sunshine and we just come before you with just a humble heart uh, for this season that we're in now Lord we uh, thank you for giving your son to save us Lord we just ask you to be over this meeting tonight to guide us and to just remind us that we're all here uh, together to do what's best for this county not for any other reason and Lord we hope we give you the glory for it in Jesus name we pray Lord, we just love you, and we just praise your name. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you, Bess. Yep. Um, before you have the November the 20th uh, minutes, I need a motion to approve. So moved. Motion by Larry Cowan. Second. Second by Jason Bullock to approve the minutes. Uh, any questions, corrections, or additions? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. <coughs> the minutes are approved. Before you have the bills, claims, payments, and transferred S presented, I need a motion to approve. So moved. Motion by Larry Morphew. Second. Second by Larry Cowan. Discussion? Roll call. Morphew. Yes. Bullock. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Johnson. Yes. Cowan. Yes. Before you have the treasurer's November financial report um, that we want to enter into the minutes, I have a motion to uh, acknowledge that we got them. Motion by Joe Barnes. Second. Second by Larry Morphew. Any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. We've acknowledged and recorded the uh, treasurer's report. Now you have the uh, clerk's report. And Chibez is here. Do we have a uh, motion to uh, approve? Move to acknowledge. To acknowledge. And to acknowledge. Motion by Larry Cowan. Second. Second by Larry Morphew. Uh, discussion, go ahead. I think Bess wants to tell us something about it. Well, let's prove this first. Okay. Any discussions or questions for Bess? Being none on favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed, like saying? We have that in our record. Okay, go ahead. Up in front of you, see, I just need to amend my budget or delinquent tax sale. So it's over a little bit, so I just need to amend the budget. So I put each one up in front of you to look at it. That's what she showed me. Just be on the bottom. Yep. Not here. The stages for next year I would be good for. So what do you, what, I'm looking here, the, the numbers match up here. What well, mostly if you look over here, I kind of highlighted what we had budget for 2018. And you go over and look at the delinquent tax. Well, that's where I got it so it'd be easier okay. to yeah. see. We need a motion to accept. Yes. Motion by Larry Cowan. I have a second. 
Second. Second by Larry Morphew. Any discussion or qu- other questions for Bass? So how much does it really change? Well, when we amend the budget, at the end of the year, you know, auditors require if it's what we project at the beginning of the year. Yeah. So anything that throws it out, like the book tax, we just had to go back and redo it. Now, I can't sit here and tell you the whole amount okay. without adding it up. I looked yesterday, but I don't remember the exact amount. But it's just mostly a procedure that we're showing that we we know that I didn't budget. We're over what I budgeted. So they require us to do it to, by the end of the year. So the highlighted amount is what changed? That's, that's the biggest part, that, okay. yeah, where our biggest change was, which was a good thing. It's a, it's a good thing. So he does. Thank you. Thank you. If no further discussion. I'll go ahead and call for the vote on that, Miranda. Morpheus? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Captain? Yes. Um, now, I'm going to ask uh, Jason Ward to come forward and introduce all the folks from the district office that's here and then introduce the commissioner. Yes, sir. Judge uh, Johnston and and uh, members of the fiscal court, uh, it's my pleasure to be in your presence again tonight. We always come here once, twice a year, and it's always a fun time when we get to come and, 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 and be with you all. Uh, so with me tonight, I got Matt West and Scott Phelps. Uh, they are your local direct engineers that cover Ohio County and, and make Ohio County a great place. Uh, currently, they're working on the Natural Parkway, doing some interstate upgrades there. And uh, they're also working on uh, 231, a highway safety improvement project down the south in the county near Butler County. So we got a lot of great stuff going on here. We got a lot of work lined up for next year as well. Yeah. Uh, so uh, they're here with me tonight, and uh, glad to have them on board too. And then also with us, it's a uh, it's a privilege for me to introduce to you uh, the commissioner of the rural municipal roads. Uh, he started out as a, as a local coal miner, or excuse me, steel worker in the Ashley, Kentucky area. And then when uh, the Governor Bevins took office, uh, he got appointed as the Director of Support Services for the Transportation Cabinet. And then in April this year, the Governor uh, tapped him to be the Commissioner of the Department of Rural and Municipal Aid under the Transportation Cabinet. So again, it's my privilege to introduce you, Gray Tomlin, Commissioner of Rural and Municipal Aid. Judge Johnston, uh, Fiscal Court, I want to thank you for the opportunity uh, that you've allowed me to speak tonight. I want to say that since Governor Bevin's taken office, almost 50,000 jobs have been created across the Commonwealth. And the governor's made it well known that his goal for Kentucky is to make this the industrial manufacturing hub of the United States. And he knows that in order to bring economic development to Kentucky, uh, we need a strong infrastructure. So, and I know at the county level as well as the state level, we have limited funding, and so we try to prioritize projects throughout the state. Um, you know, I always think of Tennessee as an example. <coughs> Tennessee is pretty much the same square mileage as Kentucky. We have double the highway miles and double the bridges that Kentucky has. We have, uh, I think, 53,000 uh, uh, county road miles in, this, in the Commonwealth and 27,000 miles uh, uh, state highway miles. So we have a lot of roads uh, and bridges to take care of across the, across the Commonwealth. So what the governor wants us to do and what we've been doing throughout the Commonwealth is meeting with uh, county officials um, to see what your infrastructure needs are. Um, it's easy to sit in Frankfurt in an office and get, get a request or get a picture or whatever, but he wants to be out here to look through the lens that you look through every day. You know what's best. He wants us to create that partnership uh, and continue to build this partnership with local officials so you can take care of your needs um, and your wants and work with us so we can help you assist in that. Um, so we're here to, to listen. I think the media's done it a listening tour, um, but we're here to listen to see what your needs are so we can evaluate that and prioritize. I know Mark Welch, our field rep, has come out and looked at Wademan Loop, uh, Arnold Leach Road, and New Cub Road. Um, so if there's any bridges or any other uh, roads that need to be assessed or evaluated, please, you know, this is a good opportunity to let us know about that. Can we let you know now, Greg? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, the state was good enough to 
on Highway 69 North. They blacktopped all the way up to Lake Washburn Road, and then they took off at Dundee and and did from Dundee all the way up to uh, uh, Highway 54 there in Fordsville. But there's a gap in between that of about six, seven mile, five or six, seven miles, and it hadn't been done, and it's getting a little bit. Uh, uh, well, it's got some spots in it that could it could be could be dangerous, sir. But I just would take this opportunity to let you know. And that's on Highway 69. Uh-huh. <coughs> Don't be shy. <laughs> but the state did both ends, and I was just kind of curious that uh, that was kind of left out. Maybe it wasn't as bad a need of repair as it is now. But uh, Highway 69 from Centertown to Hartford, I, I believe it's in the y'all started doing some work to it. That's going to be spring. Yes, contractor ran out of time. We request an extension. Yeah. Because of all the work that they're doing, the natural rehab and everything else. So we're giving them the little spring to get to the surface. But we did require them to go ahead and get the base figures done so they can settle out over the winter and be in better shape. Yeah, so I thought that was a, a good thing. I knew, I, I talked to a couple of them. They, they thought it was going to be spring. But where is it actually going to go from, where is it going to start in center town? And, and is it going to go all the way to Hartford? Mm -hmm. From uh, 85, far in 85, I, I call it short 85, or not yeah, long 85. That's long 85. It's long 85, all the way through downtown center town, all the way up to the stoplight here at 231. Okay. Yeah, because I knew that a lot of people that can kind of complain about that, uh, the Y right there at long 85 and 69. Yes, that was, uh, yeah, it got included, that Y got included as part of the, part of the paving. Okay. I extended that a little bit to include some bad spots in there, so that whole thing will get it. I appreciate the guardrail work that was done there as well. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so the, the guardrail was done ahead of time in anticipation of doing the paving. The guardrail was set to the correct height of what it's going to be once we had that inch of asphalt. Okay. Uh, Are there any safety issues throughout the county and uh, they come to mind? Um, the whether it's bridges or Safety Circuit Rider Program did two roads and did put new signage and that sort of thing up. Uh, there's a huge safety issue in the county on State Road on uh, 69 as you enter the Fortsville city limits. There's basically a one-lane bridge on a huge uh, amount of traffic there. Uh, I don't, I forgot the traffic count, but it's very significant. A lot of semi trucks, and and it's basically on a main 69 road, and you basically come in going into town. You're you're bas basically got a one-lane road. It is narrow. And then 136, I, I believe that's in the process. I, I don't know where it's at. Yeah, okay. I knew I knew someone had made a comment about it last year. I'm glad in the two year, maybe the two year program. I, I know y'all got a lot of different programs. Yeah, I mention at least once a week in every form program. I'm on. I don't know yeah. where it ranks. The governor and everybody else. Uh, yeah. I passed somebody in it coming over here tonight, but it puts it pretty tight. Well, I, I noticed that y'all paid sections of. That's in another county. Yeah, that's the uh, uh, guardrail was. Yep, now it came through. It was in the property. A lot of places, bad spots before winter came. Yeah. And like in that the curve where the church is, we tried to level that up because the rock was sinking quite a bit in there. Okay. Okay. So that's right now, that's the only immediate work that's going on that. Yes. Okay. There's two bridges on 136 between here and the county. Yeah. That is, uh, it's on the it's on the plan, but it's not for like FY22. It's not in the current buy-in, though. So uh, uh, that'll be something that that is, is programmed for FY22, but uh, but that won't be uh, the, that that two-year funding won't be until the to the next long legislative term that that Bill has to be able to decide whether to fund it or not. Okay, so it'll, it'll be kind of at least till the end. Yeah, FY22 is the. Is, what is programmed right now, but like I said, it's not it's not funded in the current buy-in, but we have another buy-in that will begin before FY. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
can go to your county and it'll show the locations of the bridges that's going to be rehabbed or replaced over the next six years. Um, the initiative includes a thousand bridges across the state and each county is, is getting at least one. And we've talked about this, Judge, I believe. Um, and, you know, so there's over, there's close to 400 bridges that's funded this by end. We have 10. Uh, that's on the radar on our county's, uh, in Ohio County, on our county road system, 10 bridges, six of which is in this biennium. Six of those 10 are in the slide drawn uh I hate to bring it up again, but 69% of center towns of Hartford. I, I, they've been brought to my attention about right before you get, when you leave out of center town and you you're coming down the, the steep hill there, it kind of winds around by the junkyard, or the old junkyard that used to be there. The uh, lines are off the center. There's no center lines left. And a lot of people have been complaining that, you know, it's going to be hard to see. They're having a hard time, like this time of night, a little bit of snow, the, a heavy rain. It's hard to tell the lane. And uh, when we were originally talking about getting it paid, you know, I kind of, Told them, well, I think you know you're, you're going to get your answers pretty quick, you know, because we had one time I think in October, November, but I just didn't know if there was any chance maybe we'd put a little bit of paint on that center line just coming down that that winding hill. Okay, I, I didn't know. I mean, I know spring just around the corner, but at the same time, there's been several bad wrecks there in the in the past, and you know, just wanted to bring that to What's this here? Mm -hmm. been, you know, very helpful and like I said this is huge for us uh, on that bridge uh, uh, list that we got we knew about the six but then when we found out the other four that was on the radar it really even uh, parked us up more but I just want to reiterate that we're a phone call away Judge you know, you know how to get a hold of me I plan on this not being my last stop to this county. It's a great drive down here. Uh, I know Mark Welch. He'll help you out with anything uh, that you need him to look at. And um, if we can be of any assistance, you know, any further assistance, please let us know. We'll take a look at uh, some of your concerns that you've addressed, and I'll be in touch with you in the very near future. Good deal. I have a couple new tunes for you next time you come down. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. The road that they can look at was that. Flex Thank you. They land here. Um, would uh, well since you're there, Joe, and and Larry, would you come around here and stand behind them? Uh, I open these beds on the skid steer. Oh. Charlie, you come up too. <clears throat> Who am I behind? Joe. Oh, well, you got me? Yeah. You I'm just right. want to kind of hand them out? We got several. No, let them up. They got to be open there and re read and recorded. Mm -hmm. Or if you like, you can divide them and each one of you open one. Go, go ahead and hand it back. Let Larry have one take to his desk with him. That'd be better. There's a lot more than I thought they were. How many beds do we get? Let me just take one over here and sit down. Okay. Looks like there's six of them. Charlie, you go behind them and read and make sure they are to the specs that we've uh, asked from the bed. Hi, Seth. Welcome home. Thank you. Somebody over there want to be first? Larry Cowan's got the, Larry over here's got the one for the, the skidster. Yeah. Oh, that, they're different? Bands? Well, no, they, they come in two packages, one for a skidster, one for a trailer. But so do we put the companies together, it doesn't really make yeah. a difference. So Bobcat be with did it make two different bids? Yeah, they made two bids. One bids for the skidster, then one bids for the trailer. Like so, this one here. Yeah, that's for the skidster only. Oh, right skidster there. only. Well, let's do the skidster first. Larry, right. tell me who yours from and how much. Yeah, if it meets all the criteria of what we wanted in the skidster, the uh, quote on it was $40,126.86. And that's from? That's from Bobcat. 
Bob, Bob Catter of Evansville. Who no, else Bob, has one for Stid Steer? Take that back. No, no, it's Bob Catter of St. Louis. Skid Steer trailer. There's several of them here. Hang on this thing. Got it. We'll do the trailer next. Let's do the Skid Steer first. All right. The Skid Steer from Cat. There's two of them here. Okay. Read them. A 249B compact track loader. And it is uh, 52,000 even. Okay. And we're having a special call week. That's set everything. First day of the new term. To set everything. Oh, okay. Let me put it on A 239D compact track loader. Yes. 48,000. Even? Even. Okay. What's this one here? We're going to look and see what the difference is. What is Well, so far the 40s done about and beat anyway. Who who else got one on skid steer? This is a, a diamond equipment. It's a case. I, get, I mean, yeah. new, and I, I'm sorry, I can't. T-A-K-E-U-C-H-I. Takuchi. Takuchi? Okay. Uh, two year or two or two thousand uh, hour warranty. $38,958. And then there's a few options on here too. Yeah. And uh, is that the one that the, all the attachments, if you had a Bobcat attachment would fit it? Is that the one? Yeah. If you had a Bobcat attachment, it should other parts. As long, it's just a quick attach. you got a quick yeah, attach. Yeah. One, one skid steer is just going to be a universal coupler. There you go. Charlie, what's the warranty on this? Yeah, so it's just the universal coupler. <coughs> right here. 12-month warranty. 12-month warranty. Quick attachment, right? 2000 hours. We can do it from the calf. That was ours. Two-year, 2000 hours. So it's uh, 2000 hours. So is that all of them on the right. skid steer? Is there another skid steer? Hey, we'll we'll find out. one more here to open here. Hey, Joe, what was your warranty on yours? Uh, on the cat? David, that's for the both one? road department. Mine was two years, 2000. No, 2000. it's for litter abatement, but two year, two years the road department is year agreed 2000, to loan it to them. Uh, if they want to buy an attachment for it, they can. Which occurs, whatever occurs. No, it's a litter abatement. Pick up the trash on the dumps and stuff. 24 months. It's and it's got a payback on it of three it's years. Have you heard from Sam today? He's been in the hospital all day doing tests. So he may have to have surgery. What do you got, Charlie? 24 month, 2,000 hours. Same as Jackson. Yeah, this one don't have it. This just says 12 months. I don't know as much about yeah, equipment as some others, but I know that $38,000 is less than 52000 so what's the lowest speed so far, guys? It's not supposed to be funny, Marty. Mine right now from uh, Diamond Equipment. $38,958.26. Uh, say again, Jason. Uh, $38,958.26. Okay. From Diamond Equipment. Well, I left off that $26. Yeah, don't get that. Raffle bucket into that price. I got the raffle bucket down there as an option. But those are options. That, yeah, they're option prices. Oh, uh, okay. Did, did, the bu did any of the others have the bucket on it already that Ben? Yeah, yeah it's supposed to be bid with the bucket on it. Okay, okay, so then hang on. Then you need to add uh, for the grapple bucket $2,750 onto that. So that's going to put you up to forty-one, uh, about forty-seven fifty. Forty. No, excuse me, hang on. Forty-one. Forty-one seven fifty about. I know you have to bid it with the grapple because that just yeah, that yeah. just makes the biggest now, difference. Did the bobcat have the gra bucket on it? Eight dollars and twenty six cents. Did the bobcat have the bucket on it? Yes, it did. Is this the bobcat here? Yeah. I, I well, looking, now it's cheaper. I was looking for it. Industrial grapple. Now it's a thousand dollars less, a little over a thousand. Who do you see it up there, guy? I don't see it. And then here's the other ones, and I don't know because there's a what is the difference? And there's a smooth lip bucket 
with boulder edge for twelve hundred dollars. That's just a standard bucket. It's a different okay. It's not a gravel right there. And then and you gotta add the edge for gravel so, bucket. A bolt on two hundred five dollars. Right now there's this is not now there's the bad bucket. Is that what it's like? Yeah, just buy no buckets or anything. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I'm sure they do. It's just the machine. You got that twenty seven fifty to get the gravel bucket. Sorry, sorry I made that. So it's forty. It's about forty-one thousand, about seven hundred dollars. Yeah. So what's the what's the difference in the two bids? Well, uh, Bobcat's a little bit cheaper, and it's a better known brand. It's a what? Better known brand. Do what, sir? Here, pass this one down. Let him. I've got I've got spec sheets for everyone. You can compare the specs right there. Will we have a yeah, we're bringing it up. I've got it for everybody, and I've got a. Direct sheet comparison to the Bobcat. Bobcat's been around a long time. You know that? They actually invented that machine. You know, sixty-six. So they invented the. So all these the same. Everyone yeah. can have one. This is the direct. Like Bush Hog been then the rotary mower. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is the the Bobcat have their specs in there? Yes. Their own specs. Yes. Yes. You want to see them, Joe? Yeah. Uh, what's the specs of? I, I would imagine it's the specs that uh, we give them. It is. Well, I mean, you know, you know, it's it's a little bit uh, This other one by case. I don't know. Charlie, no, it's a, the other yeah, case. It's a foreign job. Yeah, that's yeah. case. Uh, yeah. That's in back, the heat they bid. <coughs> But it's by case. Yeah. Yes. With the Japanese name. Sixty-five. Case has been around a long time too. Yeah. Yeah, but that's their foreign. Sixty-five forty-five. Import. What's the? Uh, oh, really? What's the name of it, Jake? Would you? What's the name of that? Again, how you pronounce that? Takeuchi. Yeah, like what he said. <laughs> looking for. Uh, I bought a foreign car. Oh, yeah. I bought Except a Kia. That looks, uh, yeah. It's got 100,000 mile warranties reason I bought it. Oh, yeah. I can't say much on it for you. This one time I'm listening to you guys. Uh, How much do you want to pay for I think you said about $1,000. About a little thousand. Yeah. So I don't have a problem with it. It's the lowest bid. Spent, so. The okay. 239. Uh, okay. I don't have trouble with any of them except the 52,000. It came with everything. Yeah. Which is the cheapest? The Bobcat. So it's about 70,000. Because it comes with everything. Or no, 613,000 pounds. Do you have a spec sheet with you? On the target? No, on the Bobcat. 2450? I have bid specs right now. I mean, do you have the actual specs on your machine? Can we have can we have a copy of this? It's not. Like, I don't have a paper copy of that. Oh, okay. Now the, <coughs> the major difference. I see Joe. Look on there and see if the uh, well the, the horse, if, horsepower is about four, and the uh, operating weight's a thousand pounds heavier. Yeah, my thoughts was on the uh, on the warranty on it. Isn't that isn't that twelve? Uh, just 12 months warranty? 12 months warranty or 2,000. They've got our 2,000 mile. 2,000 hours. Yeah, 2,000 hours. Yeah. And is, that, is that a full machine warranty in the Bobcat or is that power train and hydraulic for two years? The Bobcat engine warranty. Is additional 12 months or total of 2,000. So is that additional? What are they saying? Is that so what, what warranty comes with yours? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, well, there's the a 12-month unlimited, unlimited hours. Yeah. And it also comes up. <coughs> it's got the option to buy that for $5,100. It also is a free loaner machine. Free loaner machine? Yeah. Loaner you have machine. a machine with a, with a problem? Yeah. Call me. I'll come pick your machine up, bring you a loaner machine, yeah. use it free, take your back and get it fixed. Yeah. But the Bobcat only has 12 months. Is that correct? Yes. Right. Two years coming with three load year on the engine. Yeah, I mean, if, if we got a machine available and yours goes down, we'd be happy to supply it one. It's not supposed to go down with the warranty period. The, uh, now, is that the Bobcat people? That's not the Bobcat people. Over here to the left. The Bobcat people are in the back. 
with the gray jacket the, yeah. and, the, and the light color shirt in front is the other one. Uh, can I ask you, why has that already been finalized? Why can we add it to it? Because of the holidays, it has to be advertised in the paper. And we want to see the agenda has to, no, on a special call, the agenda has to be we can't add I that. can't change it. You could tonight. But then it But you could down, but you could It's couldn't. already been running the paper. Oh, you already run the paper, okay. I mean, me personally, it's only two, it's three weeks before. She already ran the paper. I ran it in the paper oh. on the 7th. We had to run the end the paper. Yeah. We had to run the end the paper. I'd have to read, I'd have to change the agenda again. I, I think you probably could do that if you if y'all really want to. Do that. What's the yeah, 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 re advertising just for that one part of the thing? Wrong paper. He used to be at this paper. <laughs> Not all paper guys are alike, is that right? Yeah. This is this is up there. Cat. Well, that's what we don't have it on the on this deck for the bottom yet. I'm so looking for the specs for you. Okay, what's the? You should have this sheet that's a, that's a direct comparison between the two. It's just a single sheet. Yeah, that right there. So that's, that's it. That is correct. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here, Larry Kim. Yeah, let's swap back. So I'll keep Here. the same. Uh, there's a, there's their specs. Yeah, I need that sheet to put back in. Yeah. Yeah. Larry, right. Here's the. Do you want the bobcat? Okay. 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 Fifteenth is only a week later. Fifteenth is only a week later. It's not two weeks later. You need it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Let me have that. Right here. Right here's the direct comparison between the direct between the bobcat. That's the difference, and there is a difference. That's it. We got lucky. You're right. The bucket breakout for this shirt. Yeah. 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 Ye
it's only 24 hours. Yeah, it's only 24 hours. Blue cheese is a lot bigger. It only, it only the, uh, well, it, we're just doing an advertising cost. Yeah, I'm just saying, saying I already put the paper, so we'll have to run it again. Look at the hydraulics. Yeah. We've got to hydraulics. Yeah. You have to run it. You have to run the paper again. It's not advertising. It's almost 2,000 pounds more. Uh, look at the uh, paper weight in the papers. Look at the actual the weight of the machine. The I think they about got figured out anyway. That. I, I've never heard of that. And then it's got a better warranty. Yeah, Which one has a better warranty? Uh, it's got yeah. two years. It's got, got, three years. It's got a bigger bucket. Or you wait in a the two years is unlimited. The bigger tank shed it means it's got bigger stroke on the cylinder. Well, it sometimes it's got more ground clearance. Yeah. I would, I would, if it was okay. up to me, I'd go with that one. Well, make a motion. Which one? Uh, uh, let's do it to it. Make okay. a motion. I don't want to wait till later. Make a motion. I'll make a Give that back to you, girl. Thank you, so much. you don't have anything else down there, do you? Uh, I just yes. have a pet. I don't, I don't, I don't think you need that. And I got just there. some, just some more of these. I don't think you need them. But. Yeah. I'd make a motion that we uh, purchase the Tahuchi. 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 We're going to have to figure out how to. Say all that. I'll give you guys a language class. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have to help my language courses to uh, pick up. Go ahead and name it now. Due to the, the actual spec. Second then, yeah. A little bit bigger so and heavier machine. Yeah. And uh, authorize and direct check. Second at most. Name the amount. Yep. 38900 No, 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 no. Now we got to include the bucket. bucket. How much is the bucket? It was $41,708. $41,708. He's going to actually get it. Yeah. Yeah. I think I gave it back then. Who seconded that motion? I did. Larry Count seconded it. One's as good as the other, probably. 41, 7, 0, 8, 26. But I just like a little bit of work. No, that's right. We're not going to use it. We're not going to put in $2,000. Even in two years. $8.20. $8.20. Yeah. 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 That's a motion by Joe Barnes to purchase a type of hoochie for $41,708.26. Sure. And it was seconded by Larry Cowan. Further discussion. Big nine roll call. Morphew. Yes. Bullock. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Johnson. Yes. Cam. Yes. Uh, motion carries. Uh, we open at seven at the barn in the morning, so you can have it there then. <laughs> Be all right. Yep. Okay. I thought I seen speedy delivery on I there. I appreciate the other guys, the Bobcat guys, coming out too. Yeah. It. I'll let you, yeah. Dude, it would be nice if we didn't have to do bids and we could sit here and kind of negotiate back and forth and get the cheaper price. But the county government we got to do it that way. Okay. Technically don't, but that's all right. State contract, state contract. You didn't have to do yeah. Uh, next, next we have the uh, trailer bid. Okay, let's do trailer bid. What we have on that? Yeah, I was in the. Jason's got the. Jason's got that one. I got one here. He's got. I've got. I actually got two here. Yeah. Or three because the diamond put two. So I, my class is hang on just a second. So Bobcat, 
is $9,900, and theirs is a 12,000 pound uh, payload capacity. The specs, I don't know exactly, there's a whole list of things. So yeah, I don't they, they, they match. They match. They match. matches all of them. Okay. All right, Wayne's supply. Cap. <coughs> It's 9,980. Is that a cap? Okay. So here's the box cap. And then diamond, which is, um, is it a case brand or is it Imperial? Uh, that's an Imperial. And then I've also got a Toe Master. Okay, we got two of them on here. Um, the Imperial 20 foot split floor wide boy trailer with a year full trailer warranty, 20 foot deck. $7,850.15. And then they have the new Master P12D with a year uh, full trailer warranty. Let me get over here. Deck right. length. Okay, uh, you're right. Uh, $8,910.20. So we have. So we need to compare. I mean, as far right. as. Now, we also have <coughs> Trailer World. It's a. Uh, Seven by sixteen plus four tilt bed, sixteen thousand pounds. What would we get those? These one sixteen thousand two hundred. That's the Bobcat. Um, no, a twelve thousand pound payload capacity. And uh, the new twelve thousand, twelve thousand, the twelve thousand. But that doesn't say payload. Capacity. Is, the, uh, is the trailer roll that sixteen thousand? Is that the payload capacity or the gross weight? See, this with that 14,000 is the gross weight on this one here. Well, they're both 12,000. It doesn't, uh. What is gross weight on all of them? That doesn't make a difference in much time. This is 16,200. This one's 16,000. And this one doesn't. Okay. The total no, after the gross no, weight. No, it doesn't talk about the gross weight on that one. It doesn't. The gross weight's 15,900 on the total master. Oh, 15,900. Okay. Well, even if this one's for the world is $8,690. It's got a three year limited warranty. Uh, a limited three year warranty. This is 9900. Yeah, your Bobcats. Look, these are a little bit, you know, they're all different. Yeah, right. This one's got three year warranty. These have, this has a year full, this one has a year full. Is that, is the I don't know what the box has. Do I now? Is the three year warranty a full warranty of the trailer? Or is that just it's a limited? Limited. Um, How much was that trailer The master is a one year full warranty and a ten year frame warranty. Ten year frame warranty? Ten year frame warranty. Year frame warranty. I don't know. The Bobcat, is there a warranty on the Bobcat trailer? I don't see it. For all our age. One year. One year? Uh, this has a three year limited warranty. These are both one year and that's one year. Nobody's read Trailer World's bid yet. Yeah, Joe, Joe's got it. 8,690. He's got the best one. Well, it's, it's limited. It's limited. limited. So what's, yeah, what's, this has a 10 year deck warranty. Yeah, it's frame warranty. Frame warranty. Okay, so we all got steel boots. Uh, this one says something about I was, I'm going to why I don't know if it's I'll get that 10 o'clock time. One thing about, about this one's upgraded deck and tow. If, if you get the one from Diamond, he'll bring it when he brings the machine in the morning. This is Fred Fred White Floor. Yeah, that's you. Yeah, but this is... Yeah, this is Oak. What are we going to do? What's the weight on that one? 7,000. This is 1,000. This is 2,000. Yeah. Oh, I 
Which one do you uh, This one's the one that's in there, Sixteen here is six, sixteen thousand two hundred pound GBWR. This is coal master and next stuff. Uh, what's the? Uh, what kind of? Uh, <coughs> how's the wiring on the on the uh, trailer wheel trailer? Yeah. Um, I hope they haven't seen the one that'll haul the heaviest is the one we need to look at. It, so. yeah, it's a on that. And 12 and 12, but that was the same. I mean, what that How much of a difference was there between the weight limit on the two from Diamond? I think it was the trailer. That one right there. Trailer. I'm going to say 89. 12,000? Less than 12. Although on the year period. Yeah. That was a three year. Well, how much does the machine weigh? 74, 74, and you know, some of the attachments is going to weigh up there another thousand or so that might haul with it. I just, uh, I don't know, I'm afraid we're getting the heaviest trailer credit. You have to look at how they're made too. Um, I'm not sure how the, how the trailer, real trailer is made, but a lot of times they'll make them with uh, that's what you're channel framing for the Towmaster's pool and I beam. So it's gonna be a lot stronger. Um, this is it's got twelve gauge fenders on it. It's a heavy duty trailer. It's got it doesn't have springs, uh suspension, it's got torque flex suspension on it. So it's it's gonna ride a lot better and, and it's gonna be uh, safer, more dependent trailer. Yeah. I'm not familiar with that type of suspension. Do what? I'm not uh I'm not uh knowledgeable on that type of suspension. Do you, do you have a, a spring leaf? Uh, yeah, suspension. I am on that. Uh, They've got the, the torque flex suspension, and it's going to take a lot more shock out of it. Yeah, I'm, so I'm a big, big, big rubber things. Mm -hmm. But can haul just as much weight as the uh, regular yeah. springs, leaf yeah. springs. It's supposed to be an upgraded suspension, it's supposed to be better than spring leaf. Yeah. Okay, okay gentlemen, what's your pleasure? It's got three piece sealed wire, wiring on it, the wiring sealed from the element. Good. That's a 10 year frame warranty? Yes, sir. Not one this year late full warranty. Probably not. I might. If we get out by 630, I will. <clears throat> What's the consensus over there, guys? I think I like the 10 year frame warranty. Is it limited? Y'all have a frame warranty on yours? Or just the one year? The one year. Okay, gentlemen. I'm I make a motion. We buy the uh, yeah. Toe Master T12D. It could be for eight thousand nine hundred ten dollars and twenty cents. And approve the treasurer to write the check. Let me see that real quick. <coughs> Joe, wants to put on the record some of the reasons since that's uh, over the lowest bid. Due to the uh, the ten-year warranty versus the three-year we have on this other one. It's the lowest bid, and and some weight gain too. They don't have any of the steel steel beds. Well, uh, actually, the interior is still bad. It's still bad, isn't it? This one. Well, the oak stuff stuff, but it won't be do, do, lasting of steel. Do we have a second? Yeah. Uh, those motions, I need you to also authorize making a transport out of reserves and equipment. Okay. Add that to his motion. So, Larry. Huh? You would rather add the steel then? Yeah, I, I mean, well, that, that oak will. Uh, yeah. Like and oak will last a long time. But, but the oak, you right. Yeah. The thing about the oak is, okay. though, when you it put that skitter up on there, it won't. It won't slide on that steel. It's sticking over. Oh, yeah. I don't know. The, the one I load up at work, it's on steel bed, and it's still yeah. moving around. Yeah. But I do like it. Is the steel any cheaper? It is Actually, it's cheaper. I wonder how thick the steel is. It's about 78. The steel's 78.50. Okay, what's the gross weight on it? It, it's, the it doesn't say. The gross weight on the Imperial is going to be 14,000 pounds. 14. 
Is that the one you're looking at, Joe? No. That's the one he made the most. The gross weight on the um, in the tow master is sixteen thousand. It is. That's the one he made the motion on. Okay. Sounds good. Second rule. Second. Second. Second by Larry Cowan. I have a motion by by Jason Bullock. Second by Larry Cowan to purchase the uh, what's the name of that thing again? Brand name. Tow master for eight thousand nine hundred and ten dollars and twenty cents. Uh, and authorized to write the check and transfer the funds. From reserves to equipment purchases. Yes. Okay. Any more discussion? Being none, let's roll call it. More people. Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Camp. Yes. All right. Um, we have that. And, uh, and Charlie, no more toys for you for a while. Hey, uh, while you're still here today, answer some questions. It says Pendle Hitch. Does it have it where you can unbolt and put the, the two, two and five sixteenths? Yes, sir. You can, I, we could even change it up before we got to the... Yeah, I'd rather, I'd rather have the two and five sixteenths. Okay, the ball hitch on it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the Pendle Hitch, I put one at work, and it. Okay. I mean, it's quick to hook up to, but it, it moves around on it. Yeah, we can change it up. All right, good deal. Next, Jason, uh... We're ready for the second reading of the Animal Control Ordinance that we passed here a few uh, weeks ago, uh, 2019-2. This is second reading, and there's been no changes since the uh, first reading, Jason? No. No changes. So, uh, you want to make that motion? Yeah, it's right here, Brand. I'm trying to put that in there. Um, I'd like to make a motion to pass the second reading of the Animal Control Ordinance 2019-2. Make that form of motion. Do I have a second? There's no changes? Not since now. I'll second it. Second by Larry Morphew. Any further discussion? Bing Nine Roll Call. Morphew? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Cam? Yes. Do you have something, Chase? You had a question mark here, but since you was here, I guess you got it. Um, if y'all will recall, uh, after our last discussion about the uh, IDA, the Industrial Development Authority, we were going to wait until after the election to appoint another fiscal court member to that board. Um, and it works out because since Scott Lewis won his election for representative, uh, he, he cannot serve on the IDA anyway. So the current membership would be Kenny Autry, David Fig, Darren Luttrell, Sam Small, Mark Knight, C.C. Robinson, and Paul Sanderford, and then whoever you would like and, to. Uh, and we'll actually I make the appointment of, uh, I guess, for a uh, up or down vote. I'm not sure we have to vote on it, but we, we will since we got it. But I'm putting Jason Bullock on that. Okay. Now that I know, I'll turn that paperwork and into the So papers. let's go ahead and do a roll call vote on it. More for you. Yes. Pull up. Yes. You got to go for your job. <laughs> you, you, you can't stay. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Cam? No. All right. Thank you. Okay, that's one. That pa a motion and passed. Um, Justin has asked for a short, I hope, uh, closed session. Under uh, KRS 61.810, Chapter 1, Section B. Move we go into closed session. Okay. For the record, under closed session, there will be no official business take place, only discussion of the matters that are now. You seconded that. Please. Yes. From, uh, um, there was a. Uh, no business transacted in the closed session, and I don't believe we even have a motion from it. Uh, Jason, uh, Justin said we wasn't ready, right? I have to have some things to pray. So, we're moving on to Jason, you're back up with Ordinance 2019 3, smoke free. So, uh, last meeting, you guys all got a copy of the uh, smoke free ordinance in Ohio County. We didn't go through with it because I think uh, Larry had to leave and I wanted to make sure, of course Sam's not here, but an ordinance does take two readings. 
<laughs> so, are you going to do it without Sam? We're going to go ahead and pass. I'm going to go ahead and do it. And Sam will be back for the next meeting. And it, it would have to take a vote again to pass the second, uh, the second reading anyway. So at this time, I would like to make a motion uh, to pass the uh, first reading of Smoke Free Ordinance 2019-3. Uh, I need a second for questions. I will second that motion. A motion by Jason Buck, second by David Johnston to uh, approve the first reading of ordinance uh, in, in, 2019-3. Uh, I'm just going to say a couple things here I was reading because I know there are a few things that people are questioning, you know, about. So one of them is, is electronic smoking is addressed in here. It's not uh, dip, snub, you know, chewing tobacco. It's not that. It's... It's not addressed in here, but it is electronic and smoke nicotine. Um, one of them is talks about people are saying we're in your private home. It does address private homes. If you have a business, I'm looking for it right now. And it does say, uh, if you basically you have a private home, you can still smoke in your private home unless there's two of them. If you uh, have a health care related business or a child care related business. That would then you would not be able to smoke in your home. But if you have a private home and you run a business, it is not. This is not address you or uh, deal with you unless it's healthcare related or childcare related. Right. Um, so uh, you know, I'd like to go for a vote. I just look at this as a way to um, you know economic development process. Of, I said we talked about at the uh, debates we had. I look at it as a way is you know to improve our health report card to Ohio County because when businesses do come in too, they also they look at your health report card. And frankly, Ohio County is it's not really good right now. And so businesses they look at that and they want a healthy workforce. And this is one thing we can work at addressing. Uh, I think eventually it's going to happen someday anyway. And uh, I look at it as Ohio County kind of being progressive and it's not taking rights away, you can still smoke. It's protecting other people's rights uh, when you're there. And most smokers, I will say, are courteous. This is addressing a few that aren't. And um, so right. I make the motion for the first reading. Do we get a second on it? Yeah. Yes, I second it. The only thing I'd like to say just at this moment, I think, it would, I think it would be good, and I don't know how you would vote on it, but we did wait for Larry to be here, and now Sam's out due to illness. And I think on something this magnitude, it would be better if you had all the four members. But I'm ready to just go ahead and vote. Well, I did check with Justin, and I did say, because I, I didn't know, I knew Larry was going to have surgery too, Larry, and I, I didn't know if he was going to be here or not either. In that case, it wouldn't work. But being that it takes a person second reading, I'm not, we're not passing something where Sam's not going to have a say on it. Okay. I thought, we, Jason, y'all were at your committee, was going to address the 25 feet. That was one of the... Uh, well, we did, but we actually put that back in because, frankly, we just felt like that we, we kept changing things and we probably wouldn't get past anyway. So we just felt like if it's not black and white, a, Larry, a, in our opinion... Yeah. A reasonable distance a reasonable is what distance I thought, you, but a reasonable never figured out. It's two different things. And, uh, you know, you go by businesses and it's at the front door. Jason, you know. could, <coughs> would you say that of all the businesses in Ohio County that probably 95, 98% of them are smoke-free anyway? I would say they are. Yes, they are. Yes. So we're dealing with possibly 2 to 3% of the Actually, businesses in Ohio County? Absolutely. Now they're wanting to address the smoking maybe right in front of the door. Well. Or entering the businesses. Yeah, well, that's well, 25 feet. Yeah, we, it's 25 feet now. Yeah. Yeah. We know the effect, actually, of smoking will not be all that much. But it would put our county on the cutting edge of showing that we're progressive minded and it would help us with uh, business and tourists and that sort of thing. Well, we all know the pitfalls of smoking. Uh, and you can ask anybody that works in the healthcare industry that uh, smoking is certainly not, certainly not good for it. But I was looking in here, even like private club. If I had a private club and five or ten of us, we get together and wanted to smoke cigars and play poker that uh, this is unacceptable. Uh, I prefer, but if you really get down to taking some individual rights away, that won't be no harm to 
that I think to anybody, and as Jason said, 97% of the, the uh, and I don't know of a restaurant in Ohio County that, that allows smoking anywhere. They're all smoke free. Uh, I, I just don't see that we have a smoking problem in the county. Well, too many people probably smoke. Well, I feel like that our, our state average, the our average is well higher than the state average, and Kentucky is probably higher in most states. No, I'd say you're right, exactly. And I, and I, I don't want to pinpoint, because I know, listen, I have my bad habits that I have too. I'm not saying, I'm not saying because you smoke, but smoking does affect other people. Me eating unhealthy is not, that's why we didn't address the dip or the snuff. I'm not trying to take away rights. I want you to have those if that's what you want to do, and it's and it's the law says you can do that. Just protecting somebody what's, else's what's right that that doesn't have a say sometimes. Are they, they're, they're not addressed in here. They're not addressed in here. No, it, you can still do. Uh, and, and I do look at. I'm like David. I look at it. As we're 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 a rural county, and it looks like we're taking a step in the right direction. And if we want to grow business, industry comes in. They look at that. They will look at your health report card. They'll look at your. Uh, you're, and, and they're going to say, oh, Ohio County's, their health rating, their smoke rating is higher than the state of Kentucky. And it, and it doesn't look good because you want uh, people that are going to come to work every day and people that are... So you think about it, passing is that people are going to quit smoking? I'm not saying people are going to quit smoking, no. I'm just saying it looks like it may be... It helps, yes, that's a new culture. Um, and, I, and, and most people, I would frankly say it, that they... It's just like me. I wish I could quit sugar. They would probably say, if you would like to quit smoking, most of them would say, I wish they'd never started. You know, I wish I could quit that. I wish I could quit sugar. No, I can't. But I'm not hurting anybody by that other than myself. So, that's my motion. That's where I, I feel. That if, if I step on anybody's toes, or offend anybody, I'm sorry. I'm just looking what I think is best for Ohio County. At this uh, and, and, of course, I do, too. I think I it would... I would help our uh, area. Just like, you know, you want to add any more deputies to the sheriff's department? Well, you know, Joe, we talked about that at the debate, and Scott Lewis was there, and, and uh, as a former state trooper, he, he said at that time, you know, he was not an invited candidate to speak, but he addressed that it's just like any other ordinance. It, it, you're not going to have no smoking ordinance across any state of Kentucky. I've seen they've had to hire additional manpower. If you see it, you cite it. Just like the seatbelt, you sighted. If you see somebody speeding, you sighted. It is simply a, a, a responsibility of law enforcement. Yeah, if they see it, they sighted. We're not asking them to do any more than if they see it. It's just yeah. kind of like we, I told you in the, in the, in the debate that we don't catch all the people speeding. What he was saying. Yeah, we don't catch all the people speeding, <laughs> but we're not going to take away the law. That you can't speed because it, it's it's good for people and safety. Out there, out in the city of Hartford, right? And uh, citations for smoking because they, they won't be out there patrolling, doing any more on the speeding because they won't have time. If um, I think eventually what happens is just kind of like Orange or anywhere else has done this. Eventually, it, it monitors itself and takes care of itself. I if know. you're talking about rights, too, I know a lot of things. You're talking about the rights of the store owners and the property owners and and people that smoke, frankly. Uh, Abraham Lincoln once said, your rights end at the tip of my nose and your smoke's going to get in my nose if you're within 20 foot of me. So, uh, I just shouldn't have put that well, in the first person, but it's the only way I know to do it. Well, let's use, and I'd like to tell you, Jason, in his own figures, there are about 3% of the businesses that uh, they're currently smoke, and which is not a, no, a food no. eatery. But let's say that, uh, now, I'm just looking at local here, Fordsville, the diner uh, no longer allows smoking. The girls that work in there, they do smoke. The uh, waitresses, they go outside in the front door. Now, if I vote for this ordinance right here, they've got to walk, because they can't, can't go out in the street and smoke, so they've probably got to walk 75 or 100 feet uh, to smoke. And uh, so. Maybe in somebody else's door. Well, would you not have a back door entrance to the restaurant? That nobody goes through, kind of a, a employee, just kind of back. Yeah, every business the front should door have a back business. door in it anyway for health concerns. But we also have to think of those patients at the Fort Wayne Medical Clinic. They're leaving there. They're going to that diner. They've got to go right through that front door through that smoke. Yeah, I really don't see the. the I haven't. I know that y'all brought that up, 
But I have yet, and I've been paying attention after this debate and everything because, you know, everybody went on about how big of an issue that is, and I haven't walked through smoke once going into any of the business. Well, I haven't. Sure. But they're at the side of Walmart when you walk in the side door there, and it's kind of... And I, But I just think it needs to be black and white because if you don't have it black and white, you do not... 10 to 15 times a week I walk through smoke to get into this building. Yeah, yeah right outside in... Um, Guys, uh, you know, we're going to vote how you want to, and it's not, it's not, but I'm, this is the way I feel. Uh, and I just feel like that if, if they're already not smoking anyway, then businesses, this is not an issue. Then we're just, we're just, we're just adding to make it look like that we're taking a step forward. I mean, do you feel that like eventually it's not going to happen anyway someday? I don't believe so. Well, how many counties in the state of Kentucky have currently have it? In the, in the restaurants and they went and did Not too many own. counties, most but of I the cities. The smoke free coalition kind of. But we're so rural. Helped them a lot. We have so many there. cities. By about 120. And you know they had great success in the business revenue. Actually, they've gone up. Driver. Two businesses I talked to said their business went up. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm doing now. <laughs> Well, no. so we so we have five counties out of 120 that have adopted this. Rich, how many in the Grad Region? Um, Rich with the Green River District Health Department. Rich Navy. There you go. Henderson, Davis. There you go. How many GSB, states have gone? GSB number three and looked at as more progressive. I would be first and last, but how many states across the country have gone smoke free? Or so, some states have gone completely smoke free. Um, boy, I didn't come prepared. That's fine. I, I just know that some. Like, well, I think it's something like 21, 22. Yeah, yeah. But I just feel like in Kentucky we're lagging behind in that. No, no. Kentucky's currently looking at it in the legislature about banning smoking, a uh, statewide. Mm -hmm. They look at it several times. Yeah, I mean it may be a. They're, not gonna, they, they're passing it down to us. So I don't want you to ever to think that, like, that Ohio County doesn't have a smoking problem. And while we, and I represent health care here, that's why I'm here. I understand. When you smoke, it's going to create a health hazard. So you guys you joined with us, you partnered with us, we're going to build this new surgical center. We want to be on that cutting edge of preventative health. <coughs> yeah. Do you think this ordinance will curtail any smoking whatsoever? No. No. Okay. Wouldn't that be lovely if it Yes, it would. There would be a magic pill. I think what it does is it creates a culture that we're more aware. And then we'll continue those efforts. We work with the health department, with the hospitals, and we'll to provide smoking cessation services yeah. for anybody that wants to get smoking. I've always said that <clears throat> nicotine is one of the most addictive drugs. Uh, and if you're going to spend money, you need to spend money on research <clears throat> uh, to help people get away from the habit of... Sure. When but, we get to the research, though, we've got to stop the spread of the disease. Because yeah. right now, we're just spending money treating the effects, the high blood pressure, the heart attack, the stroke. Yeah, but this, uh, what I'm saying is, and I don't mean to be critical, and I'm not pro-smoking by uh -huh. any means, but this ordinance does nothing to curtail smoking whatsoever. Now, it'll get them off the streets, is what you guys want Maybe. to do. Maybe our job. Maybe. Our <clears throat> job is to curtail smoking. It's, the, yeah. it's your health care system, it's your health department. That's our job, to yeah. make sure that we can help the people who yeah. are smoking. Well, and it's not smoking, but the electronic cigarettes and the jeweling and all that is a huge problem with high school kids right now. Well, the, the and the and what we're doing here is we're standing and saying, guys, yeah, we're basically you, being we're telling them it's not good. We're well, the jury we're setting an example for them. I hope this jury's still out on the electronic cigarettes anyway, yeah. uh, and I think they're just as addictive too as it's scientific evidence. So. We didn't incorporate that in here then? It is incorporated. It is. No, I'm sorry. I didn't see it. Yes, it's on page uh, 2C. I'm sorry. No, I, I don't disagree. I, I just say that the jury's not completely maybe in agreement with you guys, but... The CDC's come out strong against it. 
Yeah. Quick comment. Today there was a press conference with the Surgeon General, the head of the uh, FDA, a young uh, female student who talked about e-cigarettes coming out. I don't want to get away from what you're talking about, but one of the things about smoking is, uh, or about the ordinance is, it'll protect all of your workers. Those waitresses who don't smoke and don't go out back, they need to be protected, okay? You folks have, from county health rankings, adult smoking rate of 23%, yeah. okay? You're one of the highest. Yeah, she said if we could find a magic pill, we're, we'd uh, <clears throat> but. I understand. Uh, you, we've done so many, we debated. We had public health forums. And at this last one, the majority of people there were the pro of smoke ordinance. And these are people who smoked. We had one smoker stand up and say, I want this. We've done public opinion polls to the OC monitor. The popular vote, the people who put you in office and voted for you say, we want to smoke your ordinance. <coughs> So it's just, it's, it's one of those things, think about the health of it, and, and, and I'm, I don't like the government. I do not like the government messing with things and telling me what to do. Exactly what this is. But, it, well, it's yeah. that at this point, you've got to listen to the people who voted for you and what they want. I don't think they. I don't think they've sat down and read this actual thing. I just think they've been asked the question: Would you like to smoke free? I don't like big government too, but sometimes you got to step in and you got to protect the person that's been violating too, and that's what we're doing in this situation. You got you're protecting two different people here. But I I've debated on it and everything, and I've read it, so you know I'm getting both. I just I just want to look at it. It's going to yeah. happen someday. That's what we judge. I want Ohio County to be a leader sometime in some okay. and not. I don't. Uh, oh, like I don't think anybody's mind will be changed. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and roll call it. Morphew. No. Bullock. Yes. Barnes. No. Johnston. Yes. Cam. No. So two yeses and three noes. The motion is failed. Don't you should have waited until you get another person. Well, it wouldn't have made it. It wouldn't have done either. If it had been tied, that's one thing you got. It. I, I do. I mean, I appreciate all the help you've done. I just, I really look for, I want Ohio County to be the, a leader in something like this. And yeah. It would, uh, leader in socialism. I want to, I want to yeah. help these guys, guys and gals. I want to help them. I want to help people to quit smoking because they see it every day on a daily basis what the, what the uh, effects of smoking is. But, uh, How about when my daughter goes into a store and she sees it every five seconds? But Miranda, let me ask you this. If I've got a private club and there's seven or eight of us and we want to smoke cigars and we want to play cards and if we want to run our health, that's that should be our choice. You can do it because it's not a health care facility or a child care it, facility. Well, it says private club. Uh, would that's you explain that? That's only at his house if he has a business at his house. Yeah, if you have a business residence. at your house, yeah. Uh, if it's a private club to find it, of course, it's the case. Feet away from the door and the wind blowing private club to find it, you're still going to want to respond. Well, that's true. But <laughs> well, you got to have a number. you got to have a block All right. Keep after it, guys. Yeah. Let's Stay move on. It. And uh, is there any committee reports except the ones, this one that just reported? Jason's two committees reported with those motions. Was there any committees that met before since uh, the last uh, court meeting? Other than these, that you aware of? Uh, well, it's not really a committee, but I believe didn't uh, Keith and y'all go to Frankfurt look at that spray truck? And unfortunately, it was already so. When do you think that they'll get any more? Well, hey, we missed out on that deal. Well, it would it doing good to advertise across the board and internet and all that? Uh, I think it's something we're going to need to look into, and we need to be doing it now if we're going to look at spray. implementing a spray program. Because I know I'm going. Why don't we go ahead and put an ad out, Keith, as far and wide as you can get it? If we're going to see what you can come up with. If we're going to keep doing everything the road department's going doing, and we're not going to add anybody. No. Then, uh, I'm, 
Then we're, we're not going to get anything done. Keith, did, uh, <clears throat> when you worked for the state, did they have a uh, spring program? Yes. Yeah, and it was it was efficient, did the job, yeah. took care. Yeah, we should have been doing it years ago. I would agree with David. I think you need to we advertise. Get something. Get something started. Well, we missed the spray drop. It was not that oh, I don't think yeah. it's hot in here yeah. already. When I went up there and talked to Barry, he said the state up there, he said the whole county is across the top of them going to the spray. Yeah. He said that he's already had this year over 20 counties. Yeah. Oh. Well, when we went to our, did our road masters and everything, the spray class I was in, uh, um, several of them that I talked to, they had switched over and did the spraying. It was about a fourth of the cost initially, right off across the board. But then it actually cut out a whole, uh, cut out a whole mold. Yeah. So then it's a much bigger cost savings. How much? How much does uh, does a new one cost? Well, that's does anybody have any idea? I thought we'd take advertisement for bids. We'll see, new or used. Let it be on either way. Well, I know it's something if it works, and it's been shown to work. That uh, we seriously. Is on a state bid too. For you know, a spray truck like that. Yeah, because I, I really feel like probably when you buy a piece of equipment like that and it is new, that you remember, we're going to be mowing for a, we're going to be spraying for a long time. Go remember, ahead. Remember, uh, uh, Larry, when we bought the mowing tractors, we bought them in uh, December, and they didn't come in even for the first mowing. Oh yeah, we need to do so, it. So you know, we're kind of already behind. The Can we get it out? Can we get out the advertisement for the January seventh special call meeting? Yes, we decided that now we'll get it done. You have to add that onto the agenda. Though. I that's mean, if we're going to open the bid, yeah. But let's let them get them rolling anyway. Yeah, he's laying on the. You're going to have to do that anyway. Mm -hmm. What's the date, Johnny? Okay, any other committee reports? I'll do it again. It's fine. Being none, let's go ahead and go. Jason? No, thank you. Joe? Uh, no, thank you. Larry? No. No. Larry. Justin? No, thank you. Is there anything else that anybody's got for the good of the body? Yes, ma'am. Third day I'm going to show up here with a 99 Ford F 150, non running. Uh, had new battery, new alternator put in it. It's got some major electrical issues. It will not start. And we're going to take that thing off the surplus and put some money back in the budget. Or... Didn't you already advertise that? No, I was waiting on Matt to come in here and do it to the business department. He needs to take it to be advertised for surplus. Yeah, so Declared surplus. Yeah, Declared surplus. So he can sell it on eBay. E uh, the I'll, government. I'll get the information from Ann and Ben and everything. Put it in so it's not running? No. Okay. What is electrical? Okay. And it's a 99 Ford? A 99 Ford. It's been four drives. Uh, last oh, man, they're working hardly ever around. Is it red? <laughs> so so when did it quit running? Short sleeve, I'd say. Oh, gosh. Uh, about five months ago. <laughs> five months ago? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. They just quit. Did what time? Pull. What time is it? Uh, one was sworn in. What time is it? Club Noon. Club Noon. Noon. Uh, I hear a motion to declare that uh, surplus so we can sell it on. Uh, motion by Joe Barnes. Second. No point in keeping. Second by Larry Morphew. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Anybody in the audience? Uh, no one else has anything for the good of the body. I declare this motion and this meeting adjourned. Thank you, gentlemen. We'll David. see you at the special call meeting on the 7th at the museum. Judge, what we decided. Oh, at the museum?